All right. So um, what I'd like to do, thank you very much, Jake. Uh, what I'd like to do, guys, is quickly kind of go over some tips for being able to find the lateral um, surface area. All right. So first of all, what we're going to be taking a look at is what is a rectangular prism. So to be able to find our surface area, the first thing we need to understand is what is a rectangular prism, or what just really any kind of prism that we're going to be talking about. So the first one, though, we will talk about is a rectangular prism. Now, I know you guys might have some difficulties. drawing exactly with this. But the main important thing which, which happens with a rectangular prism is that the base is a rectangle. Do you guys see how that base, Nick? Maybe I kind of wrote this a little bit wrong. Let me just write it this way. This base is what we call an isometric So let's, let's do this a little bit better. OK. Now, this drawing is slanted, right? It's in what we call an isometric photo or a kind of picture. But what I want you guys to understand, if I was going to kind of look at this, what we like to call in a bird's eye view, you can see that the base is a rectangle. OK. Does everybody see that? So that is a rectangle. When you have a rectangular prism with a rectangle as a base, and then you have a height extended from that. The next thing what I'm going to do is identify how to find the lateral.